We begin tonight with a C-suite shake-up at the world's largest restaurant chain. McDonald's top human resources executive is out following the day, of course, when the president and CEO, Steve Easterbrook, was fired having a consensual relationship with another employee. McDonald's board determined Easterbrook violated company policy and demonstrated poor judgment. McDonald's shares are down. If you take a look at the share price, uh, you'll see it's down some three and a quarter percent, which is worse than it was during the course of the session earlier. It was that second resignation uh, that took the market down. So it's off three and a quarter percent. Now, if you want to look and see exactly what's been happening at McDonald's, you can sort of order a burger and fries and take a view of Easterbrook's legacy as the Golden Arches. The Big Mac has his ingredients for success. What he did here was actually the reason why the share price nearly doubled. First of all, he led an aggressive modernization plan that made McDonald's relevant again. He remodeled stores and, crucially, installed digital board menu boards. And he used artificial intelligence as his time as CEO. And throughout of that, he doubled the stock price. It hasn't always been, though, a happy meal. The French fries shows exactly where the recipe for failures. First of all, there were the Me Too controversies. There were accusations of sexual harassment, worker strikes at the franchisees, the divide, the fight for a $15 demanding higher wage, allegations of bad corporate culture, and, of course, ultimately, the Me Too, the CEO went, even though it was a consensual relationship. You've got wage protests, culture concerns, so although the profits may be up, and arguably the share price performed spectacularly. Well, Claire Sebastian is following the story for us in New York. We'll talk about the ethics in a moment. From a purely financial point of view, even as he announced better profits, there is still stagnation in the US market. There's still challenges here, Richard, and crucially, competition is the big one. I want to show you, uh, yes, the share price uh, for McDonald's has um, almost doubled since he took over, but this year it's been struggling a little bit against the competition. Have a look uh, at McDonald's versus Restaurant Brands International uh, and Wendy's. Uh, McDonald's is up uh, about 6% this year, but Restaurant International Brands, uh, which owns Burger King uh, and, and Tim Hortons and Popeyes, that's up uh, more than 25%, uh, and Wendy's up about 30%, so they are doing better overall and there is a lot of competition out there. Richard uh, McDonald's, don't forget, under Steve Easterbrook has had various menu innovations. They brought in fresh rather than frozen beef. Uh, they brought in all day breakfast. Now we have Wendy's moving in uh, with with uh, with their own breakfast offering next year. That is really going to uh, prove a challenge. So while the new uh, CEO is uh, the formerly the head of McDonald's USA who has been part of these strategic initiatives, he is going to have to keep executing and that is why we see some jitters on Wall Street. Okay, so his performance rose the share price, and it's questionable about some of the other policies. But the new person, the new man taking over, was there throughout. So, I mean, is there feeling that the change of power is just to, uh, a change within the bureaucracy, or is there another visionary behind? I think most people are seeing this as, as continuity. In fact, uh, the new man at the top, Chris Kamczynski, he gave an interview to the Wall Street Journal on Sunday, Richard, and he said this isn't going to be a radical strategic shift. And a quote, he says, the plan is working. So, so if you talk to analysts, and I've seen a lot of their thoughts today, they say, look, we do think there might be some short-term disruption. He has, to, he has to build out his team a little bit. There might be uh, some, some kind of waiting around for that. But overall, uh, the strategic initiatives are in place, and he is well positioned to keep executing them. I do think some questions around that second departure today. The chief people officer, David Fairhurst, I spoke to the company. They wouldn't confirm why. But it isn't entirely clear right. uh, which policy Steve Easterbrook violated, whether it was a prohibition of all relationships between managers and subordinates or whether it was a disclosure issue, Richard.